Madam Deputy Chair, thank you very much. On Tuesday of this week, I rose on a point of order to ask for this opportunity. And so, to the Chairperson, the Chief Whip, and the programming team, and I'm sure Honourable Nyambi as well, I say thank you very much for acceding to the request. Madam Deputy Chair, the South African rugby team, the Springboks, went to Japan with the country's hopes on their substantial shoulders. Led by a giant in physical, mental and charismatic stature, our captain, Sia Kolisi, they played consistently well, timing their peak for the final. The sportsmanship and the character showed by the team as a group was remarkable. Madam Deputy Chair, the team included a diverse group of South Africans, and we were well represented. The result has been that South Africans from all walks of life came together and celebrated. People who maybe are seldom seen together were seen hugging, dancing, and celebrating in taverns, bars, homes, public viewing sites, and streets around the country together. The social cohesion and nation building project has been driven forward, very much like the creative midfield mall in the second half of the overwhelming 32-12 win in the final against England. The importance of a win such as this cannot be overstated. The images of South African sports heroes leading us to a victory on the world stage is something that should not be belittled. South Africa is a marginalized country on the southern tip of the continent of Africa. Our continent is often underestimated in terms of its potential, and when excellence is demonstrated and recognized, that should be cherished. A win of this magnitude by a team of diverse but united players, acting in unison with a common goal in mind, gives us hope in so many ways. On the sports field, at school, in life, as a community and as a country, we are all inspired. We are living in difficult times in South Africa. Our economy is under pressure, and our Rainbow Nation project has suffered as times have become harder and as divisive projects have been initiated by groups in pursuit of narrow self-interest. The damage caused by Bell Pottinger was substantial. The polarizing rhetoric of political parties that are focused on race and division has pushed this project backwards and pushed us backwards as a nation. The box went forward as our standard barriers, bearers and it is now up to us as South Africans to heed their rallying call, to bind behind them and drive ourselves toward the goal line of a united country. This may not yet be the united country that we dream of, but this reassertion has placed us back on the trajectory to unity. I think it's important also to pay tribute to the beast. Tendayam Tarerira has hung up his international boots after 117 test matches. Your role is greatly acknowledged, and we salute you and wish you well in your retirement. My elke enkele lid van die groep het bijgedra, en Suid-Afrika is dankbaar aan hulle amal. Ek wil ook vir Anrei Pollard, wat vandag in die hospitaal le, alles van die beste wens, for a fuller and finicher style van safe beserings. Madam Deputy Chair, there will always be haters and spoilers. To the few small-minded deriders, in true South African fashion, I merely shake my head and click my tongue. Ach, shame. <laughs> De Deputy Chair, we congratulate the team, Rassi Rasmus and the coaches and the support group that brought back the trophy to South Africa and place South Africa in our rightful place as world champions at a time when we really needed it. We thank the families that stood behind them and supported them along the way. Thank you, Boka, for inspiring us. We are better together. We are better following your victory. Ritswilo Pele, Kaufela. Thank you.